I wanted there to be as minimal amount of code changes as possible for an existing project that is trying to integrate this pool system. But I couldn't figure a way to prevent all code changes entirely. The code changes you will have to make are minimal and hopefully you find them to be manageable. So let's take a look at this example. So uh, in start, this is what we had before we were using the pool system. We would assign our components, for example our sprite renderer, and we would set a color, perhaps, and then we would start our coroutine for our life length. Now, we're not going to use this anymore when we pool. Instead, in awake, here we can assign our component reference, and then we'll also listen to the pooler's pool start action. And we will call our own function called pool start. Now, the name of this doesn't matter, it could be anything. Uh, but what we will do is we will receive a game object, and if this game object is not us, then we return, we don't go forward. But if it is us, then we do the rest of our initialization for when we spawn. Um, and then life length. So when your object is supposed to die, instead of calling destroy, we will instead call return to pool. And we'll pass in our game object. Then on disable, we do our cleanup. Instead of on destroy where we used to do our cleanup, we'll do our cleanup on disable. But we will still keep on destroy because we need to um, stop listening to the action of pool start. We do pool start minus equals anything, which again, anything is just uh, what we were uh, calling when pool start is called. 